So hi everyone, whether you're watching this live or on the replay, a lot of people have been asking me about how to decorate the top of the ukulele, this part, and you've been wanting to see a lay or a decoration on here. So um, my mom is really handy. Hmm. This is my mom. She's really handy, so she's helping me make these today. And um, you can watch on the replay if you miss any step of this and I will also do like a dedicated video for it. Hi Rachel! This is my mom! <laughs> Welcome! So give a thumbs up if you like to see DIY videos um, live. This is my first time doing a DIY live so let me know by hitting the thumbs up that you like this. If you want to make this yourself with us you'll need to get some ribbon. A few strips will help. <clears throat> If you don't have this, you can obviously buy it. To make this, how much do you think it would cost? Not a lot. Uh, ribbon's very, very affordable at Walmart. Yeah. So you can get a spool for 79 cents. Oh, okay. So. And then the elastic? The elastic is a dollar for like two of these. Okay. But you only need one. You only need one. And then string so maybe could it be under five dollars it could be under five dollars okay so under five dollars to make it if you don't have elastic and you want to get creative you can use i was using um a hair tie so we're making a ukulele light you can use a hair tie it will be easier if you have an elastic so you'll need an elastic that is seven inches long and that would be hi everyone welcome seven inches would be 18 centimeters so that's the part that's going to go around the top of your ukulele you want it to have a little bit extra because you're going to want to cut it a little bit later but you want to make sure that you can pull it out of your ukulele without like untuning it because that would be annoying right so you'll need elastic ribbon thread and a needle so if you have any questions for myself or for my mom go ahead and pop them in the comments now if not then you can just enjoy and watch this or you can come back to the live replay so i'm going to demonstrate how to do one from scratch hi dan congratulations on your 3,000 subscribers that's so awesome right before the end of the year too dan is from australia he's a teacher and he's watching right now what time is it at in Australia. Oh yeah, what time is it over there? Okay. So, this is things. Javier Garcia, thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's give a thumbs up for my mom. This is her <laughs> first time like going live and being here. It's 6.25 p.m. in Australia, mom. Oh. Juliana, La Película del Coco. Have you seen La Película del Coco? No, I no. haven't seen it. Is it a scary movie? No, no, no. It's a, like a kid's movie. Like Dia de los Muertos. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one. The no. new one. Uh -huh. I learned how to play the ukulele because of you. Thank you, Javier. Javier, what, what do you want to learn? Or what do you want to see on the channel? Let me know. Leah Sky says, I love you. Aw. <laughs> Hi, Leah. So, everyone, this is my mom. In case you couldn't tell, we look alike. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 226, where I am. 2.26 a.m. Are you Hi. in the East Coast? Hi, Leah. Okay, so you want to grab uh, your ribbon. And let me show you how long a piece will be. So this piece is about 13 inches. Oh, I want to watch that movie now. Cool, cool. Is it in theaters right now? Yes. Or is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, theaters. Indeed. Well, we have the gift card, right? I think one of us has a gift card. 11.26 p.m. where you live. You're close to us, then you must you must live. Because we're in California. ¿Qué hora es aquí? Uh, it's like 11. Oh, yeah. At night. Yeah. Leah is 1.26 a.m. Where are you, Leah? We're in the States. Okay. So to make the flower look like this, all you have to do, you can do it two ways. I'm going to show you one that I haven't tried yet, but I know will work. I'm in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle. Oh, okay. We might, might move there. That's one of the places where there is a, a naval hospital. 
and my husband works in the Navy, so we're waiting for orders to find out where we go. Northern California, Javier Garcia. Oh. Javier, uh, what type of um, ukulele do you have? I cried so much. It was so good. I saw it in English and in Spanish. I cried more when I saw the Spanish version. Oh, that's good to know. I wonder if they have the Spanish version here. We're in Southern California, and this is a big bilingual community. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing a zigzag with the ribbon. So I'm just folding it into itself, zigzag. I haven't tried this yet, so let's see if it works. If it works well. I want it to work well. But this might be the easier way to do it. I have a soprano, but I'm getting one for Christmas once I get uh, money. Uh, okay. Which one are you thinking about getting, Javier? Okay. So now I have it all in a zigzag. I'm holding it together down here. And I'm just going to put the needle through that zigzag. <laughs> my mom's laughing because she's like, that might not work. <laughs> and then my mom's doing a different method. Can you show it? It's just going... I'm pulling at the same time. It's not holding it to the end. I'm just doing it all together. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm going to stretch it out. That almost worked perfectly. Yeah. Okay, so now I have it. And all I'm going to do is tie a knot here. Because that's I don't want it to go further from here, so I'm gonna tie a knot on one of the ends. Central Florida, thank you for watching. That's late for you. What are you doing up so late? You're up late. <laughs> um, please give a thumbs up if you have joined us. It always helps get more people here if we give thumbs up. So thank you. Okay, so it's. If anyone here is celebrating Christmas, what is the favorite thing you like to eat? My brother's also in the Navy. Yeah. Thank your brother for his service. It's not always easy. We were lucky we were able to come home for the holidays. So my husband's in Long Beach with his family, and I'm in Imperial with my family. So Jose and I will meet again on Christmas Day. Tamales de pollo, that's his favorite food too. <laughs> What's your favorite food, Mom? I love, love the uh, turkey and stuffing. I like the turkey and stuffing. Yeah, so traditional but, American. Yeah, but meal. I might do. We might do tom tamales <gasps> if you want. Yeah, I haven't had them in forever. I know. That's why. Yeah, I would love that. But we'd have to start making them tomorrow. We have to. Yeah, because I leave soon. So to get here, um, Jose and I flew from. Uh, Okinawa to Beijing and Beijing to LA and then I flew one more flight to Imperial so there's a lot of flying to get here <laughs> um okay. Leo what kind of ukulele are you getting okay so I tied a knot I think you can see it right there and so that is gonna hold the ribbon and so now that I've put the string or the thread in and out in and out zigzag I'm going to hold one side and then just gonna pull it. And I'm gonna let it kind of twist into itself. Okay. And there I have my flower. See how easy that was? Let me show that again. Cause you can do it twice. Okay. So now I'm just gonna pull one side. And there I have my flower. And I didn't have to do anything crazy or work too hard for it. It just came out. So what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to see how to, because we haven't done it yet, <laughs> we're going to attach these to the elastic. And of course you can choose any color that you want. We just had these extra scraps here. We have some uh, floral adhesive. Mm -hmm. We can glue it to the elastic oh, okay. or we can sew it on the elastic too. Oh Let's yeah. see which one's, which one's it better. Works better. Okay, so don't do it yet. Wait till we do it and see which no, one no. works. <laughs> okay, so now I have this side that isn't like tied. So I found, or it's not knotted, I found that a good way to knot it is to kind of sew it in and out of itself from the center. Should I sew this one together? Uh, yeah. Or wouldn't it be easier to attach it before sewing? Yeah, I think so. What do you think? Maybe. Let's but do one and one. 
attach it without sewing. Sewing it to itself and see. Okay, we have that little little. Oh, thank you, Javier. Have a good night. So, Leah's getting a Luna concert ukulele. The Luna, the Luna ukuleles have like a like an engraved wood engraved design on the body oh. of them. They look really pretty. Oh yeah, I think I tangled this. I don't know if we should like sew the leaf on the. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Juliana. Oh, I like the way you spell your name. Juliana going G I U. Oh. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty. Okay, so my mom's attaching leaves to it. So, see, this is why I brought her on here because I knew she'd do it better. If it were me. We have three. I made a mess of this knot. You can see it's like all bacha bacha here. But I'm going to roll with it and tie it onto itself. Oh, we're gonna stick yes. the flowers. Thank you. My dad thinks he spelled it wrong on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom, Kevin is watching from India. He's the one that gave me the flowers for my week. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, we're doing this because you gave me those flowers and okay, people started yes. asking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use your teeth? No. I got my kind of ukulele and the same thing happened, but the fretboard was sharp, but only the bottom, so it didn't bother it. Okay. Let me go and get the pliers. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> oh, my uke is from a brand called ADM. It's a cheaper brand, but I got it to start it pretty good. Huh, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. It's good to know. Okay. So the flower has been cut. I made a mess of the back knot. You can see it's like all crazy. <laughs> Sleep is for the week. Man, Leah, you are fierce. But you know what? I'm just going to go with it. So I got my dad a new dog for Christmas. And uh, I think it's one of the dogs barking outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Look at how cute these are. Oh, good. No? May I see? Mom, it's open. It's open? I open it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. What are you making? We are going to make a flower lay that you can put on top of your ukulele. And the way that we're making it is that we're going to sew it to some elastic. And then you're going to be able to just... Imagine a hair tie full of flowers, and then you're just gonna do this, and it's gonna decorate your ukulele with like beautiful colors. And um, we have different colors around, so we're gonna see which one work, looks best. So yeah, and I do want to make this a giveaway. I didn't say it at first, but I want to make this a giveaway. And so, in order to enter the giveaway, please subscribe. And on my Facebook page, post a picture of your ukulele. And my mom and I are going to choose some colors that will look good for your ukulele. So we're going to choose... How many people, mom? What do you think? Two or three? It's up to you. Okay. Depends on how many entries we have. So if you want to win a homemade ukulele from us, then put your... Um, what sounds painful? Put a picture of your ukulele on my Facebook page. And to find me, it's just the same as the YouTube channel, Bernadette Teaches Music. This is um, flower glue, and we're just gluing the leaves onto the flowers. Okay. If you missed how to make the flowers, basically all I did was I made like a little accordion. I just folded it like this and then I used like 10 to 13 inches will work I poked a needle through it and then I just like pulled it all to one side when you do that you get this if if that sounded way too fast just watch it on the replay <laughs> so you can see it because I did it a few times here's another flower I think we have enough flowers now right we have five five that should be enough no 
let's see. Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I yeah, think. right? I think so. Because maybe we can use the hair tie as a good measure of how much um, we actually need. Oh, pretty close. Mm -hmm. So we're using a hair tie to see how much elastic we need because the hair tie goes in and out pretty easily. Hi, Tanya. I don't know if I've ever caught you on a live before. Is it? Is, have you been here before to one of the lives? A cosmic A gate eighty six. Hello. They're saying hi, mom. Oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> my mom lives in California, so I wasn't able to have her on my channel before. So we are doing a giveaway. We're going to give away three lays, handmade lays. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so that you can decorate your ukulele. In order to enter the giveaway, um, subscribe here and also on the Facebook page, post a picture of your ukulele so that we can find colors that will look good for yours. It helps if you post your picture of your ukulele um, on the wall, if you tell us what colors you like so that um, we find something that works. Do you want to put leaves on all of them or skip it on the green ones? What do you think? It looks really pretty. Or should we just put in between? Yeah, I like that. Because it might be too many leaves. Okay. We'll just glue them. We're making ukulele lace so that we can decorate the top. If you want to see more DIYs, please like this video. Okay, we're gonna glue Oh man, she's going right at it. Okay, so my mom just glued two flowers together side by side. And she glued little leaves to them. Um, we calculated that all of these materials could come down to five dollars or less. You need one roll of ribbon in the color that you like. Elastic. If you want to go cheap on the elastic and use a hair tie, like steal one from one of your sisters, <laughs> you can do that. And then my mom is experimenting with um, floral glue. A fabric glue would work and um, glue gun. Sewing or glue gun? Yeah. Stick and the so you have several options. What do you think? I like it. Is three enough? Because I kind of like how that looks. Look, show it to them. So we have the pink ones have little leaves, and then the green one is just the center. And we're gonna put the elastic behind it, and then hold it right over the ukulele. Oh, so cute! Mm. So should I think three is enough? But you don't want it. To go around just on the you don't want to oh back i too? see what you're saying yeah no you're right yeah it should go around the back a little bit okay so we need to put another mm -hmm. green one. what is my favorite song to play on ukulele hmm i think um i have a tutorial for it living on a p prayer player <laughs> living on a prayer by bon jovi is really fun to play so you can go to my channel and search for it and then um, I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles was really fun because I um, played that when I was teaching abroad in China. So it brings good memories. What are your favorite songs to play on ukulele? Okay, this is what it's looking like. Yeah. I love it. One more pink one on the side, right? You want another one? So you want to make it five? I just want it to be oh. like symmetrical yeah. like mm -hmm. pink green pink, pink green. green pink riptide that's a good one okay so if you're entering the giveaway um go to facebook search for my page like um uh bernadette teaches music and post a picture of your ukulele and on the wall and tell me your favorite colors and where you're watching from and just the country is enough but it helps if you put a state or province or prefecture wherever you're watching from so right now for example if I was to enter the giveaway I would post a picture of my ukulele and I would say my favorite colors are let's say red or red and purple if I wanted red and purple and then um, say watching from Southern California Okay, so now that's the, that's the semi-finished product. Yes, this is it. This is what we're going to attach to our hair tie. 
and then we're going to let it dry and then put it around the ukulele. So if you're just joining us, we're making an ukulele lei and we are doing a giveaway. So post a picture of your ukulele on my Facebook page on the wall so that you can enter. The giveaway will run through the end of December and then in January we will choose a few winners. How do you care for your ukulele? You just bought your first one. Did your ukulele come with a gig bag or a case? The giveaway will be until December 31st and then on New Year's or like the second day of New Year's I will share the photos with my mom and we will choose a few winners. measure it uh, 13 inches and we're gonna do a purple and or red and gold purple and purple, purple gold well actually you guys tell us which two color combination would you like to see this is red this is purple this is gold which two colors do you think will look best let us know what you want to see and we will make it right now okay, okay. so let's give them a few we're um, broadcasting from uh, Imperial El Central, El Central. El Central. El Central California it's a small town and there's like a lot of towns next to each other so we're like really north of El Centro, south of Imperial. Where are you guys watching from? Yeah, this is me without makeup. Well, I have a little bit right here, but yeah, and this is my mom. <laughs> we look exactly alike, so you could tell it's my mom. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Should we me sew too. it? Um, the elastic or should we thank you thank you sew it or should we sew the elastic first together and then glue the sew it to the elastic i think, I think it would be easier yeah to sew the elastic first and then attach yeah with a few you think so uh -huh. okay you're the pro so i'm gonna go with you your advice because What do you think? If we sew it together first, and then... I was thinking we can glue it first, and then reinforce it by sewing, and then tie it to itself. Do you know what I mean? Glue it to the flood? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Just so that it kind of holds it for us while we sew it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I saw somebody voted for red and gold. Do we have any other votes as to what colors, combinations to use for the next one? Let me see. Oh. We'll wait a few seconds. We want to use two colors on the next one. What do you think? Red and gold? Red and purple? Purple gold? Or purple red? Let us know. And we're using a floral glue, because that's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> but a glue gun would work. Sewing alone works as well. It would, it's, it would be faster with a uh, glue gun. It'll s dry faster, and it would be quicker. My parents recently moved here, so a lot of the stuff is still like in boxes or lost, because you know how moving goes. So we've just glued the elastic to the flowers. So we're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna tie it, I mean sew it to reinforce it. Okay, so what color would you like to see next? Was it red and gold or purple gold? Purple red? Let us know and we'll make that next. If you want to enter the giveaway, post a picture of your ukulele on my Facebook page, Bernadette Teaches Music, and then um, tell me where you're watching from. I need to look at white thread. Oh yeah, okay. we don't have white string. My mom is a perfectionist, so she wants white string so that we sew this onto itself. But then this will go in front of the ukulele like that oh that's so cute so cute okay. 
So this is an ukulele lay. Super easy. We made it in 20 minutes. And we were chatting half the time. <laughs> My mom is going to go bring a string for it. Let me know if you have any questions. What is this button? <gasps> Ooh, I can add filters to this? What? Let me know if you guys see something weird. Can you see that? That's so funny. Okay, that's weird though. Okay. So, the next one is going to be red and gold, right? Is that what you guys want to see? Red and gold? Okay, I'm going to cut. To make this ukulele lay, I am going to measure it approximately 13 inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to cut. Let me cut three of these. So one, you got it? Two. Uh, right there. Okay, so I have my three pieces. I'm gonna thread my needle and make these flowers real quick. If you have just joined, please give this video a thumbs up so that more people can find it. Okay, I have my string. Where did I put my needle? Right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, I made a mess of this. Okay, so I'm using gold ribbon and because my mom is a perfectionist, I'm using gold thread that matches. You could get away with using a different color, but if, your mom. <laughs> if you're mom, or if you wanted to look like really, really clean and like professionally made, then um use the same color there is a place where you can buy these for 13 dollars i saw online so i mean it costs you a fraction of that to make it yourself but if you don't want to make it yourself and you know you're afraid you're not going to win this giveaway then just go search for ukulele lei and it'll come up somewhere i saw it okay so i'm just gonna do like maybe 15 inches of little tail on this and I'm gonna tie like three knots just to make sure it doesn't poke through on the lay so um, tell us what you're doing mom oh, I'm sewing it together all right here the elastic sewing it making it there we go. So. Oh, that's my favorite right now. That pink ribbon really pops. Okay, I've lost count of how many knots I made on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways that work. For those of you who were here, you already saw this technique. So I'm just going to make like an accordion, just up and down. Just folding it onto itself like a, a slinky mm. yeah like an accordion and if you have any questions for myself or from my mom, pop them in the comments below. Okay, so I'm just going to line up the edges so that it sews really nicely. The last one I didn't line them up and it didn't look as neat. Okay, so I have my little accordion and I'm just going to poke this needle through the edge. Let's see, just right here, very edge. 
And I'm going to bring it to my face so I can make sure and do it right this time. How you doing, Mom? I'm done. I'm good. I'm almost done. Nice. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can demonstrate okay. or show it. Put it back. Put it on the uke. Yeah. Right. On the on, on the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I poke the needle through. May I borrow your scissors? Hi, hi. Thank you. Can you show the way that you sewed it onto itself? I did, like overlapped for like an inch and a half, probably, and then just sew it across back and forth like two times to make it. Thank you. And okay. there. It is. Ah, finished product. There it is. Yeah. That's so cute. Let's see. Let's see. Moment of truth. This is our first one, so let's hope it works. There it is. Ukulele. <gasps> <laughs> do you guys like it? If you do, comment below or give a thumbs up. What do you think? If you want to win this or win one like this, Comment a photo of your ukulele on my Facebook on the wall and let us know where you're watching from. To find my Facebook, it's just Bernadette Teaches Music. What do you think, Mom? I love it. Right? Cute. It is I cute. like the colors. Me too. Combination, they, feel, they look good together. Yeah. Yeah, this is so cute. Sweet. Next one. Okay, what, what colors are it going to be? Red and Red purple? And Red and gold? Or it purple? was gold and... I don't remember. What color did we say it was going to be? Help me with the cold ones. Okay, so I poked this through the accordion and I stretched the accordion out. And now all I'm going to do is squeeze on one side and pull towards the knot. And it makes it a flower into itself. Let me show that again. I'm in your way, I'm sorry. poke through. My knot wasn't big enough. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pinch on one side and slide it down. And there you have your flower. And then all I'm gonna do is knot it. So let me do that again. And the flower will look a little different every time you pinch. So if you don't like it, pinch again. Like stretch it out and pinch, or you can guide it a little bit to make it twist a certain way. I want the edges all on one side. Let me make an another two knots on this side. Is that the train? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> so a lot of noises yet. Yeah. They're not. So what have you guys bought people for Christmas? Um my mom has a surprise in my room and then my dad he got a German Shepherd puppy. So what did you guys buy? Let me see. Okay, I think I have like six knots here now. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, I like that flower a lot better. Man, yours is perfect on the first <laughs> try. Impressive. I've been doing this for years and years and years, so yeah, it takes practice. But <laughs> yeah, when I was little, my mom used to make all my bows and hair ties and dresses and clothes and clothes for my little dolls and everything. <laughs> Do you have a favorite thing that you made? My favorite thing, 
What's your red dress so far? Oh, as an adult. As an adult. Yeah. Well, when you were little, it was um, the the shorts with the skirt on top uh -huh. and the same color blouse that you wore for your little Eddie's birthday. Oh, okay. I'll try to post a picture of that on my Facebook if we find it. If. Because <laughs> I know it's out there. Look at that. That is so cute. And this color really catches the light. Okay, I'm gonna tie a knot. There we go. If you use uh, a smaller width on the ribbon, the flower would be tighter and would look really pretty too. This is a size nine, what do you call it? I don't know. It's like two and a half inches or two, in not two inches. But it's, if you ask for it at the flower, at the, um, at Joanne's or whatever store you love. Fabric like, shop. Fabric shop. <laughs> the one at commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's a size nine. Yeah, it's about two inches, maybe one and a half. Or four centimeters. I don't know if you can see that. Four centimeters. Okay. Hmm? I don't need to do that. We use one down. Six. You use two per um, One, two, three, every other flower. Six. Can we find the little leaves at a fabric shop too? Yes. Okay. So the little leaves have a little bit of wire on them. So it makes it really easy to attach them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, these are the ones you use for to make like corsages and boutonnieres. Mm -hmm. But you can use for any other stuff. For this? For this too. Okay. What do you think? Is it okay? Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. So let's use the red one or what? We have more red yeah. than purple. Okay. Well, then we should make an only red one. Oh, okay. All red. All red. So let's make this purple two. one. We have two green and two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll use two of these. We'll make the next gold one. If you're just joining us, please hit the thumbs up button so that we can get more people here to watch what we're doing. We are making a DIY ukulele lei and this is the first one that we made so if you're watching this on the replay just go back to the beginning so you can see this one and then now we're making a new one with gold and purple so this time i'm going to do it the other way i'm just going to thread in and out and and we're right on the edge so this is not the center it's right on the mm -hmm. edge of the ribbon and I'm just going in and out. And we will be here for another maybe 10-15 minutes so if you have any questions for myself or my mom go ahead and pop them in the comments below. We are broadcasting from Southern California. Um, Jose and I came home for the holidays to visit our parents, so he's with his family and I'm with mine. Total materials for this, how many are there? How many materials uh, do they need? Thread, needle, ribbon, and uh, leaves. Leaf. Elastic, oh, several. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? A glue? Glue or, yeah, a glue gun or a glue or you can also sew them onto the elastic if you don't. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make a knot on this side and I already accordioned <laughs> it. Can you make a few knots, please? Thank you, Mom. Two or three. Two or 
Okay, so I have the flower here, and I'm just gonna put pull the needle through. Can I hang on to it so that it stays squished like that? And as I let go, I'm just gonna kind of sew a few more times around the whole thing to make it hold that shape. So I'm just gonna go around the back a few times. What do you think? It's okay? Yeah. I didn't like how that edge was looking, so I sewed it into it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. It was just too long. So there is one of the flowers that we're going to put on the ukulele. How'd you say it? Ukulele. <laughs> Thanks for being here. It's always just Jose and my cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're missing the cats today then, I'm Jose. <laughs> well, you can't have everything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can have a ukulele lay if you want to enter the giveaway. Post a picture of your ukulele on my Facebook page, Bernadette Teaches Music, and tell us where you are watching from. If you want specific colors, post those in the picture as well so that I can find some colors that you like. And that will be absolutely free just because I want to do a giveaway. Because it's fun. We are going to be here for about five more minutes and we'll post the finished product for this one on the Facebook. So make sure you go to facebook.com, Bernadette Teaches Music, so that you can see this one if you want to. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. This is really pretty, Mom. Thank oh, you. Like Thank you for helping me. Yeah, purple is nice. Look That's your these. favorite color. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah, purple is my favorite color. Has it always been? No. What was your favorite color? Um, I like black a lot. Mhm. Mm I like red too. I don't. I didn't have like a specific. Mhm. Mm favorite color, because I like a lot of colors. I like turquoise. I love yeah. them a lot. Yeah. I like them. I like them all. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But right now, I love purple. Do you like purple things or purple clothes? I think I like purple everywhere. Things, clothes. Yeah. I'm getting into it slowly. Like my sunshine color. Mm hmm. I like purple. That. Oh, purple and gold, actually. That's funny. Yeah. I thought of you when I bought that sunshine color. I, I was going to say. Yeah. Like, there was a blue and gold one, and that was really pretty, and that's what I would normally go for, but for some reason, I like the purple and gold that made me think of you. Okay, we're going to be here for a few more minutes, maybe two more minutes, so if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you want to see this finished lay, go to the Facebook page and like it and um, turn on notifications so that you get a no notification when we post this ay, sorry when we post this purple and gold ukulele show in the show in the finished oh, yeah. product and this is what the first one looked like this is a ukulele lay so all we did is we made these flowers attached them to elastic and made the 
rubber band. And the really nice thing about this is that if you don't want to use it all the time, you can take it off because it's like a hair tie. This is still drying, so it's not recommended to take it off, but I want to show you that it's not a permanent thing. You can put it on and take it off. So let me just leave it on so that I can kind of set. You can even use it for your hair. I guess you could, right? <laughs> if you're in a pinch, you could use it for your hair or you could use a hair tie. A little more difficult to work with because this is so round, but if you had a flat one, that would be perfect. Okay, so that's the ukulele. We will be giving away a few of them, so enter the giveaway on Facebook. Do you have any last things you want to say? No. Oh, okay. Thank so, you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.